In our fast-paced world, children are often exposed to a wide range of news topics, from natural disasters to social issues and beyond. As parents, it's crucial that you guide these conversations with care and sensitivity. I understand that discussing sensitive news with kids can be daunting, and that's why I've gathered some insights from experts in child psychology and education to provide you with practical strategies and tips. Hi there, I'm Kim Feeney with Butterfly Beginnings Counseling, and welcome to my channel. I have over 10 years of experience helping hundreds of children and families to lead healthier emotional lives so that they can cope with big baffling emotions. And I would love to do this for your family as well. So go ahead, subscribe, and hit the bell for weekly notifications on the latest content. Today, we're diving into a topic that's incredibly important for parents everywhere. How to talk to kids about sensitive news. One of the most important things is to create a safe and open environment where children feel comfortable they feel comfortable expressing their thoughts and feelings. Children look to their parents as trusted sources of information and comfort, especially during times of uncertainty. By fostering an environment of trust and openness, parents, you as parents, can help alleviate any fears or anxieties your children may have. And it's essential to listen actively to your child's concerns and validate their feelings. Let them know that it's okay to feel scared or confused and reassure them that you are there to support them no matter what. And remember, every child is different. So it's important to tailor your approach based on your child's needs and age. If your child has difficulty coping with big emotions surrounding news events and other topics, Grab my free guide, Six Ways Parents Can Help Children Cope with Big Emotions. You can find that link down below in the description. It's also essential to tailor your approach to your child's age and developmental stage, whether your child is in preschool or high school. We are gonna cover strategies to initiate these difficult conversations in a way that's age appropriate and empowering. We're gonna discuss the importance of providing context and perspective. This helps children to understand complex news topics in a way that makes sense to them. And we'll explore techniques for addressing emotions and concerns, validating your child's feelings and offering reassurance in uncertain times. Younger children, they may have limited understanding of complex topics. So it's gonna be important to use simple language and provide concrete examples that they can relate to. As children grow older, then their ability to grasp more abstract concepts improves. So parents can gradually introduce more nuanced discussions and encourage critical thinking. However, regardless of age, it's crucial to create that foundation of a safe and supportive environment where children feel comfortable expressing their thoughts and asking questions. By tailoring your approach to your child's developmental levels, you then can ensure that they feel empowered and informed when discussing sensitive news topics. So go ahead, drop me a comment and let me know a news topic that you have struggled to discuss with your child. So here are some strategies for initiating conversations about sensitive news topics by different age groups. We're gonna start with our preschoolers between ages three and five. Again, keep it simple. Use age appropriate language and concepts. Provide tons of reassurance. Emphasize safety and comfort above all else. And you can use visual aids, pictures, drawings, puppets, 
They all help convey information to this age group and follow their lead. Let them guide the conversation and ask questions. Next, we're gonna talk about elementary school. So ages say six to 11. Be honest and make sure you're providing accurate information and avoid overwhelming details. Encourage questions, create an open dialogue and address their concerns. Providing context helps them to understand the relevance of the news to their own lives. And again, offer reassurance. Emphasize the helpers and the positive actions that are being taken. Middle school children ages 11 to 14, this is where we can begin to foster some critical thinking, encouraging them to analyze and question what they hear. Discuss perspectives, exploring different viewpoints, and helping the child to form their own opinions and address the emotions, validating their feelings and providing coping strategies for dealing with difficult emotions. And empower action. Encourage them to get involved in positive ways, such as volunteering or advocacy. And then finally, our high schoolers, ages 14 to 18. Engage this age group in deeper discussions dive into complex topics, and encourage some debate. Explore media literacy by teaching them to critically evaluate news, the sources, and recognize bias. And discuss global issues. Connect local news to broader social, political, and environmental issues. And encourage activism. Support their efforts to make a difference through activism, advocacy, or community service. Overall, the key is to create a safe and supportive environment where children feel comfortable. They feel comfortable asking questions, expressing their emotions, and engaging with the news in a constructive way. Tailoring your approach to their age and developmental stage, you can then help them navigate sensitive news topics with confidence and resilience. And here's a couple of bonus tips about talking to kids about sensitive news topics. It's important that you maintain calmness. Children look to us as adults for cues on how to react. So stay calm and composed. Even if you're discussing upsetting topics, your demeanor can help to reassure them and keep the conversation productive. Eliminating exposure. While it's important for children to be informed, excessive exposure to news coverage, especially graphic images or details, can be overwhelming and distressing. So monitor their media consumption and provide age appropriate information. This is true not just for the kids, but also for ourselves. And encourage questions. Let your child know it's okay to ask questions and it's okay to express their feelings. You're gonna to want to validate their emotions and provide honest, age-appropriate answers to their questions. And then show some empathy. Model empathy and compassion when discussing sensitive topics. Encourage your child to consider how others might be feeling and discuss ways to help or to support those in need. Focusing on positive actions it's important to acknowledge difficult events. Also highlighting positive stories and actions though. Discuss how individuals and communities come together to support each other during challenging times. And then be available. Let your child know you're always available to talk if they have questions or need support. Create opportunities for open communication and dialogue and Check in with them regularly to see how they're doing. And if your child is really struggling to cope with news-related stress or anxiety, don't hesitate to seek support from a mental health professional. They can provide guidance for you and your child, as well as strategies to help your child manage their emotions effectively. By implementing these tips and fostering open communication, you, can help your child to navigate sensitive news topics in a healthy 
and supportive manner. Employing age-appropriate strategies and fostering open communication, you can empower your child to understand the world and to navigate challenging topics with confidence. Remember, you're not alone in this. Together, we can create a supportive environment where children feel heard, informed, and empowered. Beyond the news, technology can be both beneficial and harmful to children. So if you liked this video, you may like my video on the risks and benefits of technology. It should be showing now on the screen. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with a friend. Until next time, wherever you are in your day, hug your child and make it a great one.